Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Sean, and I'm just going to do a little book review with everybody. I want everybody to know about this book. It's important to read. It has a lot of factual evidence against at these hum. Oh, yeah. Hang on for folks. Damn, Hang on. Oh, yeah, and I got my wife this book here. Um, and I wrote The Power the, of Positive Thinking. Yeah, because I get... Sean needs to do more of it. Yeah, I, I get negative over all this uh, fuckery that's going on in the world, folks. I'm sorry about my language. It's constant struggle to keep us to find out who we are. And he did writing times. Yeah, today. I wrote to her. I wrote, uh, to the love me. of my life, Ashley, enjoy your gift. And just remember, I will always love you with all my heart and soul. You're the best, and I'm lucky. God placed you in my life. From your uh, lo from your man with love, Sean Sweeney. Anyway. Okay, I want my book back. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, I can buy, I've been buying books off eBay. I have a bunch of books that I've had for years that I've read. Like, here's one of these books here that I'll show you. This book is, this book is a real, uh, second edition of Frederick Nietzsche, Thus Spacks Roth of Straw. And uh, this one he has syphilis and stuff. And I got it from the library back in a long time ago. Uh. And I've read this stuff, and it's, he's a crazy person. Of course he is. Uh, but it's all fascism. It's all uh, communism. It's a way to take away your liberties. And um, it's an all illusion. And in my opinion, the whole this is all happening for one reason and one reason only. And that reason is being that the fact is uh, we don't know who the hell we are. You know, we're on earth. People don't know who they truly are. They don't know what their true purpose is, you know, and that's everybody because we're being the history of our life and the in the history of Earth has been diluted with deception and lies, and then you get books like this that you have to. Well, when you read these things, you got to be open minded, but you're dealing with persuasive demons. You're getting knowledge from these demons. Okay, now this book here, this is a Christian fellow that wrote this book. It's called The Iron Curtain Over America by John B. Okay, so let me read you something. Here, it's very important for you to understand World War II is why we're in this situation we have today. They've been planning this for a long time, folks. A long time. So, they had this, they, they put this bar, boycott on Germany, and you, and what he really started the war, World War II, was Russia. And uh, we were sponsoring Russia, and they were sending tanks, anything that they needed to, uh, anything, anything they needed to beat the Germans. Does, does that sound familiar, folks? What's going on in Ukraine with these kind of, uh, these uh, Kanzarians that are fighting the Russians again? It's been going on for a while, folks. So this fella, there's only two people that, stood up, that spoke up about this. Robert A. Taft of Ohio and Winston Churchill. He's a senator. He was a senator. And this is in 1941, folks, okay? Senator Taft's radio, he did this, this, this on the radio. It would be like if he was to come on TV, but they didn't, uh, they had the radio, okay? So, a few days after Hitler invaded Russia, including the following passage, this is what this fella says, so I'm going to share this with you, okay? I'm going to try to read it even without my glasses. So let me, let me get into the mood of what this man's temperament is, because he's not happy here, okay? So, Senator Taft says, how can anyone swallow the idea that Russia is bad... Uh, battling for democ uh, democratic principles. Yet the president on Monday announced that the United States would give all possible aid to Russia, the character and quantity of the aid to await only the disclosure of Russia's needs. To spread the four freedoms thought the world will ship airplanes and tanks and guns to communist Russia. But no country was more responsible for the present war and Germany's aggression than Russia itself. Except the Russians packed with Germany, there would have been no invasion on, of Poland, which England and America blocked that. And I'm not going to add my own thing. Here's This is what we said. Then Russia proved to be as much as an aggressor as Germany. In the name of democracy, we are to make a communist alliance with a ruthless dictator in the world. Oh, he goes, oh, the alliance with one of the most ruthless dictators in the world, which was Stalin. <laughs> But the victory of communism in the world would be far more dangerous to the United States than the victory of fascism. There has never been slightest danger that the people of this country would ever embrace Buddhism or Nazism. But communism masqueraded often successfully under the guise of democracy. Huge. This dude. 
You, this is how people used to call stuff out back in the day. And America was asleep back then, too. People were just trying to work and survive. They had homes. They had things. But you don't own nothing after 1913, okay? These folks are erasing history and doing all this stuff to you in modern times with AI and all the stuff that they're doing for one purpose and one purpose only. And that is to mock God and to say, show, to think that they can build something better than us. There is nothing like us. We are one of a kind. You are one of a kind. You were made in the image of God and Jesus. Make them a, a, make them a likeness like us. He didn't say me. So, and your birthday is the most special day on earth. Because that is the day that God gave you birth and life, you know, gave you life and your mom and your family, your father and all that are together in a perfect natural harmony. Okay. And um, you don't know who you are. None of us do. You think the DNA test is going to tell you where you come from and all that. It's all bullshit. Look, folks, these skulls that they're finding and stuff like that. Think about this, man. Let me put things to a perspective, okay? You're, the hardest substance in your body after you pass on is your teeth, okay? That, that, that'll last long and, and that'll be it, you know? So for some of these skulls, 10 million years old, 100 million years, all this bullshit, <coughs> there wouldn't be no skull left, okay? There'd be a special, you know, special incident where maybe it froze or something, but they're like very rare things like that happen. And then, you know, and I'm not trying to cause anybody to come up with all the, well, you don't believe in, you know, anthropology or any of that. All this stuff is sponsored by people. Even if somebody was to find something legit, they would crush it, man. They ain't going to share knowledge like that. It would tell you who you are. You don't come from a monkey. Nobody comes from no monkey, okay? You're special. You are made in the image of God, and he broke life into you. You're or better than the computer. You think about this, my friends. God thought of you first before he made earth to give us earth. He gave us earth for us to watch over it and to have a life of harmony and love. And the only reason we have wars and things are come from these fallen angels. And they gave technology to man. They had children with these we're, we're earthly women, and this is what the what's going on. When the ch children fought each other, they're giants and Goliaths and stuff like that, and they killed each other off. Their spirits are still alive. The angels that taught mankind had gone have been shackled now, and they already know their punishment. The Book of Enoch speaks to this, although it is a pseudo polygrapher which means somebody else wrote it. More than likely, his, his, his son or somebody like that probably wrote all the things that was taught to him. But the fact of the matter is this. They, they, they don't want you to know who you are. They're building buildings on top of buildings. These fucking buildings that say that they made in here and there, they don't even date back. This is, they're, society, they're saying that you know, there's big mountains, and what they really are, some of this stuff is not mountains. It's ex big, big castles and fucking towns and stuff that got over the years got swallowed up by the earth, you know? And, you know, and you're telling me these folks that built these these elaborate um, cathedrals and stuff like that, it cannot be produced today. It is given but no special knowledge. And then what happens now, the Luciferians, and we're talking about the Khazar, these people are responsible for all the atrocities that's been going on since the 8th century, that we know about. They could have been a different name before that. They were into blood sacrificing and all that. And they, there's other tribes, I think, that come off of these people, like the physicians and people like that. And, of course, you have, you know, the Jesuits. They're all ordered to protect these one type of people that run everything. They're all in it together. But there's one family that operates, that, that controls it. And that's the Rothschilds. And, you know, people are like, oh, it's silly to talk about who's, you know, Freemasonry and all that. I'm telling you, dude, it's, it, you're right about that. We already know that part. That's baby truth. The whole point is that it's a way to keep you to find out who you are.
That's all this is. It's control. If you ever, found, if we ever found out who we are and what our purpose is and how God truly loves us and all that, this would be a much better place for everyone. I don't care what you're doing, you know. It's bad times out there because the people are allowing it to be bad times. Know what you're like. You're going up against. These people are so deceptive that they're that this is what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. They're going to blame the Jewish people for all the shit that they're getting ready to get caught for in the next five or six years. People are going to start going to jail and get exposed for this stuff because it's so big and so horrendous. These crimes against humanity and with modern technology, they just can't hide it any longer. So these folks will get arrested. And then the Rothschilds will turn around and turn their name into a Christian name or something else that will get them out of the, the way of being you know, being uh, arrested and prosecuted, and then whatever uh, punishment goes along with high crimes against humanity, treason, all kinds of stuff, folks. These dudes made money. Look, the, the, I'll tell you real quick, okay? In like the night, the, 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 when the, when the England and, and France was fighting each other, and the, Napoleon, you know, the Rothschilds put a, a fake, uh, a fake uh, victory. Out there, propaganda. They put propaganda out there. They put that the French beat the English. So if you had English notes, it was worthless because France would be, be France's currency. But that was a lie. And he knew it. So he bought up all of the English currency uh, certificates, and he gets paid eight point eight. Uh, he gets eight percent on that money forever. Okay, and he doubled at the time. Would have been. Um, we would have considered, and I'm not exaggerating, folks, it would have been considered like $50 trillion of today's money that he got, okay? And he doubled, he doubled and tripled that, so he had like over $200 trillion. That's how they can sponsor these fucking countries and shit, man. And you people are like, oh, we're $33 trillion in debt. And that would be like if one of us were carrying a $5 bill in our pocket, that's what the kind of money that is. These people own two thirds of the earth. They're Luciferian. They're evil. They hide under. They're the best at hiding. Look, these Swedish people haven't said a word in centuries about their connection to this, which is another another Rothschild family running that over there. They're not real Jewish people. That's why they can keep secrets. They're they, they these people are good. They're in royalty. King, King Charles and all them, they're all because of them. They wiped out the French uh, bloodlines and they wiped out the English bloodlines. They did that. It's just, they did that to control. The, this is what they did to try to do with the Kennedys. With J. Uh, Jr. running, he's better watch out, man. They don't care. If, it's all a psyop because he would just come out and tell you what the hell's going on. He knows. They killed his family. Because he was going to change the, he was going to make our own currency. He passed a law, I forget, 0111 or something like that. It was a, a law that Kennedy passed that we're going back to silver. He had the $2 silver notes already printed up and everything. It's 19, just before he got shot. And he was talking about, we cannot, he's appalled and uh, repugnant of this uh, secret societies, which he was part of too. So it's, I don't know what that was about, you know? At one point, somebody might have a conscience and say, hey, you know what? We lied to the people so much. We got black and white people fighting each other over, uh, over slavery, which they had nothing to do with. These, connect, these, these Ashkenazis, Kazarians people did this, okay? They're not Jewish. They did this. They, were one, they, they think that we're beneath them. We're ghouls to these people. They don't like nothing about us. They don't even speak proper Hebrew. They have their own variation of the language. They, you make German and other things up. It's called Yiddish. Folks, we've been lied to. That doesn't mean we can't enjoy our lives and stuff and, and you know, and do things the best we can. But you have to prepare, man. And you have to be read up and you have to be, you know, in shape. You know, and I'll say something real quick. This just happened to me the other day. I was sitting outside with my neighbor smoking a cigarette, and I live in a nice part of Port Orange. Some tweaker, walking across the sidewalk, comes over and tries to start a fight with me, and I, you know, I had to sort this man out. And then, you know, then I was like, holy fuck, I'm dealing with a crazy person. You know? 
And let me give you a bit of advice, folks. And I'm going to tell you this, and this is Sean. I love you folks, okay? I'm 51 years old, all right? And I've been in Philadelphia, and I've been in Columbus, Ohio. I've been in big cities. I grew up in Florida. I've been around different variety of people. Anytime, and I mean this, you roll up in a situation, and somebody rolls up on you in the street or something, just, just know that they have a knife. Just always think that, okay? Because you don't know, and you might as well just be prepared for it to come out. And my trick, my thing is, if anybody that I'm talking to and they we're in the midst of an argument and they try to go in their pocket, they will not be able to get their hand out. I will knock them clean the fuck out, dude. And I'm sorry if I made a mistake, but I am not trying to get stabbed. <laughs> uh, it's not cool. There's nothing cool about it. So I had to sort this man out, and then I had to call police. I was like, why is this man, he needs medicine. He needs, like, to be in a psychiatric ward, dude. He's over here fucking... Talking crazy shit, trying to fight me, literally. And I didn't hurt him or nothing. I just like, to, you know, talking to him and he tried to, you know, do business. And I'm like, dude, I tried to tie him up a little bit. I had to do business with him a little bit real quick. And I'm not trying to do that. The thing that matters is this. Everybody has to be prepared mentally, physically, and spiritually for anything that comes on. I had to go get my nunchucks out, dude, to defer these people. Because of the fact that I don't know he got fucking um, a knife in his pocket, like I said. I'd tie him up intellectually, just fucking talking to him. And, you know, obviously ready. It's insane, this shit that goes on. That happened to me yesterday. And I literally don't bother anybody, dude. All I do is fish, do my work around here, and I miss the right, I'm trying to write a book. I'm doing research. You see all my books I have. I showed them to you before. I've been reading a lot. You know, I bought my wife a book. So I'm trying to find out who the hell I am so I can you know, figure out where I fit at in this world and earth, you know, and do the best that I can do. But there's demons, dude. This is the second time that this has happened to me. I can't even tell you, you won't even believe me. I was sitting out there two weeks ago, same place in my in front of my house. It's around 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night, and I start smoking a cigarette. And uh, I hear, I'm thinking to God, I was like, God, please help me with my direction in life and let me do better and get better. I feel, you know, because I'm sick and I have to, uh, have surgery on my neck and back and stuff, so I'm just struggling a little bit, but I'm trying my best, you know, keep moving, keep moving, doing, so I'm talking to God in my mind, and I hear this weird laugh, some crazy person, like, like a fucking diabolical laugh, I'm like, what the hell's that, I'm freaking out, I'm looking right at bushes in front of me and stuff, I'm like, you know, I'm not high or I'm straight, you know, just smoking a cigarette, folks, talking to God inside my mind, and then I seen this, this dude, he's standing on my sidewalk, Laughing, huh, he doesn't hear you, and all this other shit. Screaming, laughing at me. And I stood up and I said, the Lord rebukes thee. And I went inside my house. And this dude, when I said it, he just stood there. He, just, he stopped talking. He stopped laughing. He stopped everything. And he just stood there for a minute. And I turned, well, I'm far away from him. He was on my sidewalk. And uh, I just yelled at him, the Lord rebukes thee. And uh, I walked inside. And then he was gone. And then this same person came back. Uh, two weeks later, uh, talking about laughing and all kinds of stuff. And then I got mad yesterday and I had enough of it. And Because uh, the first time I'm like, okay. There's a, but they're on shit. You know, they're on drugs. They're not getting the healthy need. And that's what the sad part is, folks. So I wanted to share that with you. I got people all over the house today. We're doing gardening and we're going to go fishing in a minute. So I just wanted to share this book with you and what the senator said years ago. We're in a battle, bro, uh, folks. They're, 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 they're devils, okay? These folks are devils, they're demons. They're never going to tell you the truth. They're always going to lie. And they hate you. They hate me. They hate all of us. They hate us because we're made in the image of God and God loves us and we love God. And um, I don't care what anybody says about what I'm saying about my religious beliefs. You can believe whatever you want to believe. But I'm promising you this. We can all agree on one thing. We are dealing with some serious evil people that don't care about humanity like we do. And they don't care about things like we do. And they're not about goodness. And they're not about any kind of helping anybody or doing anything productive for society like we're trying to. So even though you may not believe in God or have be an atheist, you still have a good heart. And you're trying to do stuff. God bless you. But I love Jesus, Yahshua Christ. And, you know, and I'm doing my best to, to, to make sure people can get the truth out there. Because when you have, when you discover some knowledge and you discover some truths, it's your job to share it to your brothers and sisters and let them make decisions on it. Okay?
Just remember, God loves you and so do I. And I appreciate your thing. If you could, uh, you know, like and share and tell me what you think, I'd appreciate that, appreciate that you know. But uh, always know that I love you guys. That's why I do this. And ladies, I love you folks. You're like my family, my YouTube family, my brothers and sisters, and my, my older peers that I get advice from and stuff. You know, we're all in this together. So I appreciate everything. And I, I ask that if you like and subscribe, and also go to my other channel, Grifter Busters, and I'll try to post on both channels for you folks and uh, do good business with you and uh, show you my, my fishing times. Okay? Thank you.